A remotely operated camera is launched into Chatham Strait, not far from Prince Rupert. Researchers scoured the water, searching for extremely rare glass sponge reefs that were initially discovered during an environmental assessment for a proposed pipeline. Two were found, this one alive but covered in sediment, the other mostly dead. What we're trying to do is to understand them as best we can and to understand what kinds of human activities uh, may impact. The sponges are porous and very fragile. Any sediment stirred up by fishing or development could be fatal. The living animal builds its skeleton out of silica or glass. It's essential for the local ecosystem, providing homes for marine life and acting as a powerful water filter. Whenever you have a reef in the ocean, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's going to be associated with a lot of very important biology. And we have important fisheries here. This reef in Hackett Strait was found in 1987. Before that, it was believed glass sponge reefs had been extinct for nearly 40 million years. In the last couple of decades, they have been discovered scattered along the B.C. coast and Alaska, but nowhere else in the world. On Hackett Strait and Queen Charlotte Sound, that's where the largest reefs are. They cover about 1,000 square kilometers. They have dated them to be about 9,000 years old. They grow to the height of an eight-story building. The federal government made the area around those reefs a marine protection area last year. We want to make sure that they do get protection because they help uh, sustain uh, populations of fish that are actually important for the, the fishery here. It doesn't take much. The hope now with this latest discovery, more areas of the B.C. coast will be preserved for the future. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.